Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at pluck. Now, pluck is a very useful method that will allow you to filter a collection down to one single value. Now, as a second parameter, you are able to pass in an ID, and I will show you how to do that. And to wrap everything up, we're going to talk about a trick that you can use to pluck multiple values. And that is probably one of the most asked questions about pluck. So let's start with our first example. Let's return, collect, and we're going to have some products. So product, let's start with apples, and let's give them a price. In my case, we'll say 50, and let's give them a quantity. So let's start with five on that. Now let's repeat this a couple of times oranges, finally coconuts. All right, so we'll say 60 for price, 70, 80, and then let's change the quantities. Let's do 10, 15, 25. And then let's call the pluck method on it. Now pluck, like I said, it can accept up to two values. Let's start with just one. And we'll say product. And let's check out the results. To explain what we are seeing here, we have a collection that has four arrays inside. And what we've done is we've taken each of these product names and returned a single collection back with that as an array. So we have apples, bananas, orange, and coconuts, and that's what we get back as a collection. Similarly, if we passed in price, we would expect to see 50, 60, 70, and 80. And of course, same thing if we passed in quantities. So a common mistake you might make is to think that, well, if I want price and I want another column, maybe quantity, then I could just pass that as a second array. And if you run that, eh, it doesn't quite look right. So you might think, well, what if I wrap this in an array and then do that? That also doesn't work. That returns absolutely nothing. Pluck is not able to pluck more than one value. I will show you how to do that later on in this video, but just remember, pluck is for a single value and a single value only. Let me go back to what we had before with product. And then what you can actually pass in as a second parameter is what you want to use for the keys. So in my case, say that I wanted to use the quantity. So if I want to use quantity as my key, what we're seeing here is the same exact thing we had before, except now, instead of having a zero based indexing, we are actually using the quantity column as our key. So we have 5, 10, 15, and 25, and reflects the same thing over here. If we change that to price, for example, then of course now we see the key 50, which is the price of the first value, matched up to apples, which is obviously the first product, and so on and so forth. I think you get the point. So probably one of the most asked questions is, well, how could I possibly pluck two values instead? And the answer to that actually lies outside of pluck altogether but I decided to include it in this video because it's such a common question. So what we're actually gonna do is use map. So map, and we're gonna pass in a closure, and we'll say item. Now I am gonna show you how to do this in a couple of different ways. So this is the first method. The first way you could do this is map, and then we're gonna return, and then we're gonna use an array function, and that is array only. That is a Laravel function, that is not a PHP function. And then we're gonna pass in item, which is our array that's coming here through the closure. And as a second parameter, we can pass in an array of values, right? And this is what you were kind of hoping to do with pluck, but unfortunately that's not the way pluck works. So here we can say product, and then we can say quantity. For example, let's check out the results. And there we go. Now we are getting what you're expecting, which is a list of arrays with product and quantity. And you can have as many of these as you would want. So that's one way of doing it. Another approach that you could take is if you wanted to actually use a collection method. If we collected this item, item again is coming through our closure. So if we collected that, then we can call another method only. And only also accepts an array. And in this array, let's say we'll pass in product and we'll pass in price to change it up a little bit. Let's check out the results and we get slightly different results. In this case, we're actually getting a big collection with smaller collections inside. 
If you want it to get an array instead, then of course we can always call the all method on it. Sure enough, we have one big collection that has four arrays inside. Now, when we're talking about pluck, you were able to change the ID, right? We were able to use a column as an ID. So how could we do that and still have multiple products inside? Well, in that case, we're going to switch from map to map with keys. Very similar method. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole thing that we have here and we're going to wrap it in square brackets and then we can assign a new key. So we'll say item. Let's use quantity and we'll set that equal to collect. Let me move this to a new line so it's easier to see. And I'll open this up a little bit. And so there we go. We are returning an array that has the quantity as the key set equal to basically an array on the other side. Let's check out the results on this. And sure enough, our keys have changed, right? So now we have 5, 10, 15, and 25 as the keys, which are obviously the quantity, but then we do have multiple items inside. Now imagine that there was a fourth item inside these arrays. We'll just call it random and we'll set random equal to one, two, three, four, five, because it really doesn't matter. That gets ignored completely, obviously, because we are essentially plucking the same thing. So that in a nutshell is how you would pluck multiple values. Now, let me go back to our pluck example, our original actual pluck example here, and I'm just going to proc product. Let's check out the results one more time. There is one last thing I want to show you, and that is that pluck actually returns a brand new collection. So if we said collection equals and we collected that and then in a new line, we called the pluck method on it and returned collection. What do you expect to see as our output? Well, you get back your original collection and that's because pluck doesn't affect the original collection at all. If you needed to save that, you could save it to a new variable. We'll say new collection equals that and then we're going to return new collection instead. And let's check out the results. And sure enough, we're back to where we started. So with that, I hope you have a more firm understanding of pluck and how to essentially be able to pluck multiple values.